Hi, once again, this is Robert with Clean Pool and Spa, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about raising your calcium hardness. Now, your calcium hardness range needs to be between 150 to 250 parts per million, and you can raise it using calcium chloride, not calcium hypochlorite. That's the chlorine. You want to use calcium chloride, and I have this neat little guy right here. Hopefully, you can see it. Let me scoot up here and this is to raise your, raise your calcium uh, hardness using calcium chloride C-H-L-O-R-I-D-E <clears throat> alright now uh, calcium, I'll put this down for a second, calcium is really more for plaster pools um, uh, concrete pools, pebble tech not really for fiberglass or vinyl poles. You can have it, you know, anywhere from 50 to 100 for fiberglass and vinyl poles, but it's really important uh, for plaster poles. And the reason for that is because water is hungry for calcium and it's going to get it anywhere it can, it can, okay? So you have a plaster pole and that's, that's calcium carbonate in the plaster. And that water is going to soften that the the pool surface and start ripping the the uh, uh, pool surface away and that's called pitting and you don't want that so you have to satisfy your your water's hunger for calcium and the best way to do that is to use calcium chloride um, and so this is what you need to know uh, calcium chloride now the, the 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 baseline here is to raise your your hardness 10 parts per million per 10,000 gallons you will use one and a quarter pounds of calcium chloride alright so if you can make cookies from scratch you can raise your calcium hardness uh, if you have a 20,000 gallon pool and you want to raise it 10 parts per million simply double the, the amount of calcium chloride. If you have a 30,000 gallon pool, you want to raise it 10 parts per million, you triple that, okay? So say you have a 10,000 gallon pool and you want to raise, raise uh, the calcium hardness 20 parts per million, double that. If you, have, if you want to raise it 30 parts per million, double that, double the amount. So see, I mean, everything is right here, but normally this is the baseline um, that I've always go, gone by is per 10,000 gallons. So um, anyway, just go ahead and, and memorize that. And if you forget it, you can always come back to this video, take a look at it, or you can go to my website, uh, cleanpoolandspa.com. Uh, there's a link, there's always a link in the descriptions, in the description box. Uh, so a couple things about calcium hypochlorite. I'm sorry, calcium chloride uh, is you don't want to mix it with water prior to adding it to your pool. Now, I found this out the hard way. Uh, when I had my route in Arizona, my pool route, uh, the water was very hard. I never had to use calcium chloride until <clears throat> I got to Oregon and I became the pool operator for the YMCA. The water there was very, very soft, around three parts per million, and it was a plaster pool, so I had to add uh, the chloride to it. And uh, so I got a five pound or five gallon bucket, half full of pool water, poured the calcium chloride in there, and it immediately steamed up and gave me first and second degree burns on my hand. Um, and it hurt really bad. Did a little research and Come to find out, you're not supposed to do that. So I learned the hard way to not add the calcium chloride to the bucket, okay, and then walk around the perimeter of, of the pool. Simply add it straight to the pool, right around the perimeter, and sweep very well and allow filtration uh, for about 10 to 12 hours and then retest your pool. Uh, and I think that's it on how to raise your calcium hardness. So go ahead and like, subscribe, uh, anything else you can do, comment, and hopefully we'll see you again. I'm Robert with Clean Pool and Spa. As always, happy swimming and be safe. Bye.